Our final district of the night is District, district 12. That's where you'll find Kenilworth, Tigerland, and the Pennington Biomedical Center. And if you need some fresh air, you can take a jog around the LSU lakes. It's an area that many of us know continues to have major growth, and that is reflected in everything in our city. Now, Councilwoman Jen Rocca was selected to take over Barbara Freiberg's seat as she moved on to become a st state representative. BR Proud's Abby Rocha tells us about Rocca's humble beginnings and the race to remain Councilwoman for District 12. I can make a motion that we appoint Jennifer Rocca to the District 12 seat. Councilwoman Jen Rocca grew up in the small town of De Quincey, Louisiana. She says her work ethic was passed down from her mother. She was an extremely hard worker and would be gone most evenings and weekends. Um, and I watched some of the struggles that she had, not having an education and not being able to get high paying jobs. With the odds against her, Rocca had her sights set on being a lawyer, a lifelong goal she later achieved. Despite the fact that I knew that um, we were financially strapped. Her strengths are from her personal experience working with city parish government. When government doesn't work, it's working families who pay the price. Through this, she says she is building bridges and communication in her district. Knowing people within city parish, knowing a team, having established relationships with the people that work and do the day-to-day -day trash pickup, drainage, maintenance, all of those people having relationships with them and building bridges with them to make sure that the job is done efficiently is, is a key to being successful in this position. Multitasking, balancing multiple jobs, and being a mom. This difficult task is something she says she is accustomed to. This is not for me, and my husband is absolutely amazing. Rocca's campaign built on cutting through what she calls political games to get results that people can see. Just being able to move forward, to be able to support the community that we have, but also attract other people to come to our community and to stay. For BRProud.com, Abby Rocha. Now, Rocca is running what she calls a nonpartisan campaign. She says she's committed to being a voice for her constituents and advocating for their interests, no matter how big or small the issue is.